Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to continue on with uh, multiple versions of Python. So we're going to deal with our major problem of having multiple versions of Python. So all right, let's say we, because we need to be picking back up with our NumPy series, but let's just look at this. Import NumPy. Module NumPy doesn't exist, so we need to dig into this. And this is our new version of 3.8.1. So let's just, we need to start looking at pip. So let's, we're going to pull up command. We are in our uh, 3.8 section of um, Python. So we're going to use pip list. And there's our problem. Now, there is a there's a couple layers of this problem so we're going to talk about how to deal with installing with multiple versions of python and then there's a subsequent problem that we'll deal with next video and then we'll be all done with this so okay now when we installed python 3.8 i clicked at the bottom path so you might just go well Okay, I'll go back to, I want to then, let's say, I wanted to look, and there's some code that I have in 3.6, and I really don't want to mess with it. So I come here, and I look at our pip. Now, wait a second. That doesn't seem right. I have installed all of these packages in 3.6 and I know it because I just used them. I just used it the other day. And we come here and we even pull this up and we come and we import a NumPy and it imports. Okay, but here's the dilemma. This path is still going to 3.8. So this is how, uh, well here, I'll show you where I'm getting this. Scripts, everything sits inside uh, scripts, this directory. So CD scripts. Now, now if I do pip, yeah, you can see that list. Here's everything. Now, so. There's two ways to do this. So I can install whatever I want to. In 3.6, I just go pip install whatever I want. And then there's a second way to do it. You can come through your command line and you can follow these instructions. I'll have this link down in the description. You can follow these. So if you see right here, it defaults then you can do a specific version. So there are two ways, two separate ways that you can install specifically, but that's not our true problem. Foreshadowing, what our true problem is, is we wanna move everything from our 3.6 over to 3.8, and that's gonna to be tomorrow's video. This video is specifically how to deal with two separate versions, install, modules with two separate versions of Python running concurrently. So th this is it. You may want to continue you or you've run across a bug and you don't want to change or if you're living in the Python 2 world still uh, which that is coming to an end. I saw a meme uh, death to Python, long live Python. So that, that, that those are floating around. But this is the way that you can see uh, both both um, both lists of modules that you have downloaded. Uh, you go into the scripts and then you just do pip install. But next video, we will solve this dilemma. It's very clean, very simple because uh, remember the first time I upgraded or when I uh, changed computers and then I moved stuff over. I had to go reinstall every single module and it's annoying and it's cumbersome. But guess what? 
somebody else in the community has written and handled this for you. And here's a little bit of foreshadowing. We are going to utilize freeze. So as always, guys, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you're checking out this video or this video. And absolutely most important, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the notification bells. We got videos coming out all the time. I want to thank you for joining us. Thanks for being here. And we'll just see you guys next time. Bye.